Oh no, are we rolling? Are we rolling? Yeah. Oh, Alright, tell me, tell me in your own words what happened yesterday morning. The same thing that's happened in all my life. People think they're better than you because they're told on you or whatever. And, and uh, I went in basically to uh, order a bagel sandwich and the Indian woman who had never helped me there before didn't seem to understand the concept of, of uh, egg whites. So after saying it about three times, and I verified, she goes, okay, I understand. I says, okay, fine. Then she's, she's doing this with her mouth and looking at people and smirking and laughing, and I started to feel like I was being maligned. Or, you know, I, was, I, was, I made felt like I was less of a person, you know. And you know how people are when they, when they, with their faces and they're degrading you and stuff. So finally I took it and I took it, and I says, miss, I says, what are you laughing at? I says, I'm a frequent here. So now they're acting like they didn't do it, which got me mad. But I, you know, then... From that point on, that's when the people jumped in and my whole life people feel that they could attack me. They could, um, you know, they, they would jump me from behind, punch me. I had a guy cut in front of me years ago and, they, and he pushed me when I asked him I was next. Why? Didn't say nothing. He just turned around and pushed me. It's been going on a long time. Anyway, so the video basically takes over from that. But the guy, the big guy hit me and uh, I fell down like this. This is actually from yesterday when I hit the uh, the ground. That's the only hurt I got, really. I was really stunned. I accidentally, I went to the woods yesterday. I was taking uh, my anger out on the trees with a bat and I accidentally hit my my leg, but the bruise actually went down, but I hit my leg with a with a miniature Yankees bat. That hurt. Um, yeah, so then anyway, they take it upon themselves to put their hands on people when obviously it's against the law. It's harassment. Um, the cops can never seem to do anything. I'm tired of women using me, abusing me, uh, lying to my face, tell me you like me on dates, and then you and then you take my money, you cut me off, and you say I'm too short when you're about my height. It's ridiculous. And when you add all that up, I snap. So he, I you know, I fell on the ground. He put his knee on my back. He took my shirt over like this, and I had about this much breathing room, and it was getting hot quick, and I couldn't breathe. And uh, and that's basically it. That's that's that's. What the video shows. What do you think of the way the video's gone viral? It's gotten 20 well, million views. I haven't even seen it, to be honest, because my phone's working slow. But I've heard all about it. I, I found out last night from a friend of mine. He goes, you're famous. I said, what? You know. And he told me about the whole thing. And ever since 7 o'clock, it hasn't stopped. It's crazy. Um, I guess the message that I want to get across to this, along with 30 million other people that want me to, to interview with them, is addressing bullying. Um, it's going to end. I'm going to end it today. I'm the current prophet. I'm the current Martin Luther King. And if nobody likes it, too bad. I'm not tolerating it anymore, and nobody else should for that matter. If anybody had a kid in school and they were tolerating that, and a guy double your size who won't let you up is suffocating you, that, that's, that's where I draw the line. So you're saying you're the victim of bullying. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mind games being used, bullying, it's over. I'm not taking it anymore. I've had people rob me in this town. Then they walk right past me. I feed them. It's over. That's why I snap. It all built up, and I've, I've had enough. Right. I've had enough. What do you think? So, I mean, obviously there was quite a bit of anger, though, in that video. Of course. So. Well, there were other things that recently happened to me. I, I was living in one apartment. The guy didn't tell me he foreclosed. Two weeks later, after I moved in, I ended up getting a flood in my basement. I moved to another place. She was a total witch. Did so many things for her. Shelled money out for her to buy uh, uh, furniture on Craigslist, and she just turned out to be a witch, so I left. So now I'm living in my van by choice. Um, but this has been going on all my life, and, and you know, the manipulation, the dishonesty, uh, I'm, 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 I'm just sick of a bird's home at my parents' house right now. But that's basically it, man, you know, it's, and I've had, I've had enough. Literally had enough. What? And I ask people, just be honest with me. Don't waste my time or your time. Yeah. And people just don't, they don't seem to care at all. Now, I don't know more either. And now look at what happened. Right. Right? What message would you have for the people at that bagel boss? Grow the hell up and get over it. You're you, you're this, you're you, you're that, you're Indian. Grow up. Now, if God wanted everybody to look the same, you know how boring that would be? You don't walk into an ice cream parlor and see 15 things, of strawberry ice cream. No. God meant it to be all different. And if anybody's going to judge me or this or that, then screw you. I'm not taking this shit anymore. But don't put your hands on me, especially when you're twice my size. I'm not putting up with that. What kind Never of attention? Again. What kind of attention have you gotten from that video? Are you kidding me? Tell me about like it. Like I said, the guy told me this morning, you're, 
celebrities look. I said, yeah, I didn't believe him. I was in Massapequa, where my parents lived. I retreated for a while to get, a, to get away. So my friend called me last night. He goes, I got to talk to you. I says, about what? I says, are you okay? So he told me, I says, no way. He says, come here and meet me. So I met him here last night, and his girlfriend showed me 50 million views. I says, are you shitting me? And she says, yeah. So I, I was like, I didn't expect this. I just wanted to get my message across and be on my way. But that's it. I'm your modern-day prophet. I'm your modern-day Martin Luther King. You don't like it? You want to put a bullet in my head or John Lennon's head or his head for wanting peace? Too bad. Because I'm not changing. What do you mean when you say modern-day prophet? Meaning I'm basically taking what they were believing in and tried to get across the world, and I'm bringing it to a heightened level. Right. I'm basically doing their work, and I'm continuing it. Like, they're alive in spirit. Have you seen you know? the video? No, so I, I, no, yet, I, right? I don't. I lived it, man. Would you watch <laughs> I don't it? Ha yeah, I'd watch it. Why not? But you probably can't see it too well. I mean, I haven't seen it, but yeah. you know. Do you want to watch um, it now? No, I don't really care to to, to, to watch it. No, and you know yeah. what? I was thinking about it. Like, I I, I, I even would have let all of that go. But the fact that I couldn't breathe, really, like that was it. That that was traumatizing. That was it. And he would not let me get off the ground. He was like a heavy turtle on my back, like three big pound bags of sugar. And I could not get them off me. What about what happened at the 7-Eleven? You posted some videos from 7-Eleven. Oh, I bunched at a whole bunch of shit. I had former business partners rob me money. Mm. I mean, you know, they're acting like my best friend and shit. I had a, I had a partner when I when I first started my cleaning company. Um, I had this guy Al, who was my supposed financial advisor, who tried stealing money from me, but I got that back. That's a 15-minute video. It's called Albert Kaleo, the con artist. And oh, then put mine. Yeah, I saw that yeah one. that's so, fifteen so minutes. Tell us what, and then I had another. I had, a, I had a. I had. I had another partner, who I met through him in Canada, and we were starting to get an online business store. Yeah. Well, needless to say, he jerked around. He never finished the work, and he robbed me one hundred and seventy-five dollars. We each paid half of the website, and he never paid me back. That and all this shit made me snap, yeah. and I'm done. I am done, bro. All right. So all right. the Seven Eleven. Which one? What the, happened, uh, the one where the, the, one the guys the asked you how tall you were. Oh, Back that. Okay, so when I, when I, when I had, um, I lost a major uh, account, uh, a $900 a week account. Yeah. They didn't even tell me about it. I walked in there. None of the doctors knew. They didn't even tell the doctors. Right. But so what, what so the farm, so, right, so there was, no, there was a gas station out. I had to go there twice a day at, at, at night at night at like four in the morning. So I went back there at four in the morning. And I go in there to get a coffee. And I go up to the counter and the guy goes, how tall are you? Then... Like two weeks later, after I had to leave this apartment, lost my account, I was already pissed as it is, I go in this 7-Eleven up here, and that, in, that, that Pakistani guy goes, what is your height? Doesn't say good morning, this is five in the morning. Right. And I snap, I says, dude, shut the hell up, I'm tired of this shit. I can't even go in a store and get a coffee without being harassed. Leave me the hell alone. If you don't want to say hello, good morning, don't talk to me. I'm not answering anybody who does not do anything but degrade me anymore. My blood, I have diabetes. I don't need this shit no more, bro. Right. I'm tired of it. Okay. You know? So. I mean, I, I understand that, you know, you're stressed out yeah. Uh, yeah. with everything that's happening. Yeah. Do you think maybe some of the outbursts might be a little too much, a little On uncalled occasion. for? I mean, look, we have a good days and bad days, you know, but uh, when you've been through three, four decades of this, no, I, 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 I totally justify it. And if anybody doesn't, I'm sorry. I, I, everyone's entitled to their opinion. But I have mine, everyone has theirs, and uh, I'm sticking to it. You know, I, 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 I and, and a lot of people for many years would do that. They would, they would play the reverse psychology and make me feel like the bad guy. No more. Because then what they do is they're really softening you up to, so you forgive them for them to do it again. It's a game. Well, that's over. Your over. Name, your name is Chris Morgan, Yes, right? it is. How that's correct. You, 45. All right. That's Thanks. correct. Can you tell Anytime. me, uh, you said you were, you're five feet. Five feet. Five even. feet yeah. tall. Yeah. Thanks, man. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Time, easy, right? I thought it was going to be a 20-minute thing. Oh, yeah, man.